I actually got into the marketing industry in a very roundabout way. Uh, I went to school for computer science and learned that I hated computer science. Then I went into music journalism and then eventually found my way into working for a B2B software company as a content marketer because that combined the only two skills I really had at the time, which was being able to code and being able to write. And it was it's only through the last you know, 10 years of my career that I've actually been able to build real marketing skills to go along with those technical abilities. At the start, it was a complete accident that I got into marketing at all. It was just that combination of skills just worked. My early career is, I went through some struggles early, but it's more to do with my immigration status than anything else. Uh, moving from Scotland to Canada definitely complicated things when it comes to getting that kind of full-time professional work. I did a lot of freelancing to try and sort of build up those skills and competencies. So it wasn't that I just knew how to code and, and write. I had done some you know, online advertising work previously. I had done some blogging before. I did have a body of work to point to uh, when I came to Canada. So it wasn't, you know, I landed and then got the job the next day. It was a very long process. But having that body of work to point to really made a difference when I was going into those job conversations and, and talking to people. And I deal with interviews in a very specific way where I understand that it's all about telling a story. And my story that I was telling at that time was, I'm young, I'm keen to get started in this industry, and I just need someone to take a chance on me. And I was very fortunate that I was being able to work for someone that did take a chance on me. And I ended up working for him for six years. So when it comes to recommending reading, there's a bunch of foundational texts that I always advise people look into. The one that changed the course of my career really was Permission Marketing by Seth Godin. I remember reading that back in the early 2000s when I first started getting into uh, digital marketing, back when digital marketing was still pretty young. And the ideas contained within that book are still as valid now as they were when he wrote them 20 years ago. With GDPR and Castle, that, the idea of building a permission asset and getting the permission of the people you want to reach, actually talking to people who want to hear from you, all of those ideas are not becoming any less relevant. And if you're able to have a conversation based on those ideas within an interview setting, you're gonna get a ton of bonus points. The advice that I would give to someone who wants to get into the marketing industry is to be as broad a generalist as possible. Try a whole bunch of different things. Going to, to becoming too much of a specialist too early, put yourself in a box where you don't get exposure to lots of different things. Uh, you really want to find out as quickly as possible what you enjoy doing, what you're good at, where you can add value, uh, and what you really don't like doing. Uh, having a broad range of experiences, having a body of work to refer to, that's really what's going to help drive your career forward is by exposing yourself to different things. I see a lot of young people entering the industry where they you know, position themselves as a, a social media expert. And I always hate to see them put themselves in that box so quickly. It's an easy trap to fall into because Everyone coming through the ranks now really understands social media. They're, they're social media natives. But it's not a, diff a differentiator in the same kind of way as it used to be. And I'd much rather see an applicant that you know, has built their own website, that has blogged for a couple of years, that has done email marketing campaigns, that's done advertising and social media for sure, but has a broader range of experiences, is curious about the marketing space, has read broadly. So if, you know, if someone's has put on the resume that they've read, you know, these key texts and has have interesting thoughts about it or linked to a blog post they've written about some books they've read, I'm much more likely to want to talk to that person than someone that says they've got social media experience. CMA Next. Find your path. Find what's next.